good morning students so today we are going to study about the topic population now this is a very significant topic because it deals with humans now as i am talking to you speaking about population every minute 250 babies are born and they are being added to the existing population so you can well understand how significant this human resource is now the population of an area such as a village or a city consists of all the people who are living in that particular area a country may have abundant and very natural resource like minerals and fertile soil but it needs people to utilize all these resources thus farmers miners workers and professionals are needed to grow crops bring out minerals build roads and houses and run factories offices banks etc apart from this we need people who give a country its literature music art and culture and it is people who impart education and skills to other people so these people are the most important resource of the country and they are known as the human resource now as far as the size of population is concerned it's quite natural that a country with a very small amount of resource and if it has a very large population it will not be enough for everyone and every people in the country now this condition we call as optimum population when the available resource can provide at least the basic necessities such as food water and shelter for all its people and the standard of living will be good enough for everyone however if a country has a very large size of population with very minimal resource then it will not be able to support its population very well so it's quite natural that there will be poor quality of roads poor living conditions and the amount of food each one will get will also be not as satisfied as they should be however based on the size of the population most of the countries of the world are either overpopulated or underpopulated overpopulation is a condition where too many people are living with very little amount of resource the population is growing very rapidly and there is widespread poverty food shortage and unemployment 
this kind of condition we normally see in Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nigeria and Tanzania. There are many others which have a very high population with very little resource. Now in an overpopulated country, the people's quality of life can only improve if the population decreases or if more resources can be made available by some means like using of better technology. There are some countries which are underpopulated also. Now these countries are having very few resources, sorry, they are having very few people and they are very large countries with a lot of resource. The population is very small and there are not enough people to utilize the available resource. Such countries include Australia, Canada, Russia, Namibia. Here we find that the amount of resources are very large but compared to the amount of resource the people who are to use the resource is very less. So large amount of resource remains unutilized. So this is a condition of many of the underpopulated countries. Here we find that quality of life is very good and they have more money in their hands and they are also having a relatively better lifestyle than those people who are living in overpopulated countries. Now we generally think that relatively small countries with large population are overpopulated and large countries with small populations are underpopulated. But overpopulation and underpopulation depend not so much on the size of the population as the country's resources and the ability of its population to utilize the resources. So the amount of resource is a very important factor and how to utilize those resources is also a very significant factor which helps in improving the lifestyle of the people. This utilization of resource and the ability of its population to utilize it depends upon the skill of the people, their awareness technical knowledge and health and how efficiently they contribute to the development of the nation. That is how we find that countries like a, uh, Australia, Australia, Canada, Canada here because, because of less number of people and resources being high, they have more of skilled people who are always having a knack and a crave to help the country to utilize more and more of its resources properly. As a result, they help in the proper development of the nation.
Now everybody needs and they want to live a very reasonably comfortable life. For that they require food, clean water, proper jobs, homes, a good educational facility, health care. These are the some, some of the basic needs of the people. But this is not what they get when they are living in an overpopulated country. Normally, in an overpopulated country, they have joblessness, Some of the people are homeless, famine, lack of water and food is a common occurrence as it is happening in the African nations. Due to lack of health care, many people suffer from health related diseases. Hence, the quality of life is very poor. Everybody likes to have a good quality of life. But what we find in a uh, in an overpopulated nation, the quality of life is very poor because they do not have access to better education, better housing or better living condition. In an overpopulated nation, resources are consumed faster then they can be replenished. So there is a, a depletion of fresh water resource, deforestation, pollution and other unscientific human activity. All this destroys and pollutes the entire environment which makes global warming, ozone depletion, a very major cause of concern. But this should not be only attributed to the countries which are having overpopulation because it has been found that countries which are having better quality of life are also responsible for more of pollution and degradation of the environment. For example, America. As far as the impact of underpopulation is concerned, here we find that there is enough resources for all the people to have a decent quality of life. There is no unemployment. In fact, there is actually a shortage of labor because there are not enough people to do all the jobs that can be provided. This is very common in countries like Australia and Canada. Generally food and shelter, health care and education are available to everyone. However, goods and services are 
slightly expensive because cost of hiring of workers is very high. The shortage of labor creates difficulties for industries that need a lot of workers like mining and construction. So what do these countries do? They begin to lure people from overpopulated countries to settle in underpopulated nations. As a result, what happens? That these underpopulated countries can easily take in more people from other overpopulated countries, support them and they need not even lower the general quality of their lives. Many underpopulated countries encourage the people from outside to come and settle so that the shortage of labor can be reduced and the unutilized resources can be put to use. So students, we should understand that an increasing population is not always a bane. It is very important to have a population because the Utilization of the resources is equally important because if we do not utilize the resource, then there will be not enough products which we can get from these resources which are in bountiful in many of the countries. So with this, I have just introduced you to the lesson population. In the coming few weeks, we are going to learn many other aspects of population. That is what we have enough for today. Thank you.